while the eruptions have now ceased and the authorities uh, are not expecting another major tremor, and that's because of the pattern, they said, of Mount Kalut eruptions over the years. They tend to be explosive, then immediately quiet down. But tens of thousands of people uh, woke up for the first time, and for some of them, the second night in shelters that have been set up by the government. And already we are hearing that there's a shortage of blankets and medicines and baby milk. And many of these people are farmers, and they've been telling us that they're worried about their farms and cattle that they left behind. But they cannot check on their properties because the authorities are are still imposing a 10 kilometer uh, exclusion zone around the volcano. So it's very difficult for people who live in that area uh, to go home. Uh, but the air quality in cities and villages that were blanketed by thick layers of ash on Friday uh, is much better today. Uh, major airports that were closed on Friday because uh, of the ash that authorities feared could damage the aircraft engines and restrict uh, visibility. Uh, most of those major airports are also reopened today. Alice, any sign of when people may be able to return to their homes? That's still unclear. Um, even though the authorities are not expecting another major eruption, as I said, um, the authorities are still keeping the volcano alert for Mount Kalut at its highest level because they don't want to take any chances. And for as long as that stands, uh, these people who live within the 10-kilometer uh, radius from the crater of the mountain uh, cannot return home.